Well, this was a lot sooner than expected, but the second of the three trailers for Dragon Ball Super Hero is here. Let's get into it. All right, so of course, we're going to obviously break it down once we're done watching it initially. So let's see what we got today. Oh. oh snap okay 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 this is cool this is cool this is cool all right all right so a lot more shots a lot of a lot more new shots i should say of pan and even gohan and piccolo some action sequences and here let's take a look at him a little closer right here yeah look at that a bunch of new shots out of that and right here at the end too very cool all right so now i'm gonna put the frame by frame on let's take a closer look at some of the newer shots because a lot of this we've already seen already of course and you know what honestly i'm, I'm pretty happy that nothing has really been spoiled <laughs> outside of you know what we're obviously expecting so right right after this you know majin buu looking maneuver right it's right after this where we find we see this brand new shot of piccolo in action this is like the first of its kind usually we've just seen piccolo we we recently saw him doing the uh the special beam cannon and we saw him obviously powering up into his ultimate form which is you know this yellow form that he's got now charging at the camera and this one so <clears throat> here's the crazy part this shot when you slow it down it looks like pan is on the battlefield during all of this obviously right this kind of lines up with what i was talking about in my recent pan video not gonna lie i actually just put a pan video out if you guys are new to the channel um obviously by the way like share subscribe you know all that all that stuff right if you're new but I did mention this in the pan video that I, I, I specifically stated that I feel like the majority of the movie, she's actually going to be shown as is in this outfit. And she's not going to start training until the very end of the film. Right now, she's, you know, in her... It's, it's, it's very, it lines up with Gohan, right? It lines up with how Gohan was. Gohan was in his, like, uh, I, I don't know if you would want to call that a uniform or whatever type of attire that he was wearing you know the yellow with the hat on with the dragon ball on top of it that was what he was wearing prior to him getting his own gi that looked like goku's right and so pan before she gets you know whatever she whatever, however she dresses which we've seen already it's that goth shirt and you know she looks like she's actually like you know she's posing to power up her train or whatever where i feel like we're not going to see that until the very end of the movie after all these eventful things happen so the thing I also want to point out is that she looks like she's really coming from where that attack is. So that is going to be crazy because she's really about to be like in there. She's running away from it too. So here, here's a brand new shot of Gohan right here as well. Okay, so he's backhanding a blast away. Who that blast could come be coming from actually... I'm not going to even hype it up. It's probably one of those gunshots that we've actually seen one of the Gammas shoot because they do use guns. And as you can also tell, it looks like Gohan is in his ultimate form right here. Here comes Piccolo once again. We've seen this shot already. Ooh, now these... Ooh, okay. So these action sequences right here. This, this is all Gohan. Fighting, I believe that's Gamma 1. Yep, it is. Hmm... Oh, oh, nice gut kick. Aside from that, the, this is brand new too. So it looks like from here, I feel like this is a part where Gohan shows up, right? Because she's all happy and she goes, Papa, right? And she's like very happy, like her, her tone is different. So I feel like at this part of the movie, this is a part where, we, where we've seen it in, you know, I, I'm pretty sure it was at the beginning of this trailer too. Gohan shows up to like the front of this whole entire base or wherever this location is at and i'm sure she's able to see him i'm pretty sure that's we can it's safe to assume that that's what this is right here and i'm also going to take a guess 
that this is post fight this is after the battle is won so it's crazy that they're showing us this but i mean it is what it is right <laughs> it's it really it really is what it is yeah this is this is a nice little shot of pan going into gohan's arms like that and it does look like this right here is after the final whatever is gonna happen so it kind of leaves me to wonder if she's actually gonna be if there is gonna be a family kamehameha now you know what i'm saying because pan kind of looks unscathed and if this is the end of the film right here like after they defeat whoever it is then i'd imagine if she was involved her her clothes might be a little like torn or worn or anything like that but nah they look pretty clean to me if you even you know if you look closely she looks pretty fine i mean look how look how roughed up gohan kind of looks right now you can see it you can tell by like the lines on his arms and his chest and even a little bit on his on his uh the top part of his gi there so this trailer at least you know of course has us wondering a little bit more than normal but that's okay that's okay we still have one trailer left and i think i think that that trailer is gonna be the one to ruin it all <laughs> oh man i really hope that it's not i i i really hope that they stick to this format of showing us very few differences in the shots but they don't completely spoil the entirety of this movie but you know that's the that's the wonder of trailers you'll never know until you actually see it to really see how much they actually did spoil but damn like i just man i really just hope that they just like like here's the thing i was actually thinking about this the other day and this is the last thing i'll say and then i'll let you guys go i was wondering i was like you know what's the best way to tease something that's obvious to a lot of people without truly fully showing it and i don't even want that right and what i'm saying is all they have to do right is show like a hand or a foot something just just appear like like say it's that we go back to this shot with whatever whatever whatever's in that dome right and the last time the last thing we saw was there was water coming out of it the only thing that they need to really do is to have whoever's hand like come out of it and like hold on to something because it's 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 emerging out of this cocoon or whatever right i don't even want to i don't even want to see that because you know you know if that happens people are gonna be like yo there it is confirmed 100 percent, 100 percent right now it's like 99.9 it really is and i'm talking about cell obviously i am clearly talking about cell but whoever it is at the end of the day i like i said i don't want to see a single thing i don't i don't want any teases at this point we're so like we're so close and honestly what's worse is that it's not even just whatever they decide to show us at the last trailer which is i'm sure going to come out some point next week i think that it's going to be really hard to avoid actual movie spoilers from people that are already in Japan going to see it, you know, on June 11th. So I don't know, man. It's going to be tough. That's the new trailer. That's the breakdown of it. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Supporting links are going to be in the description as always. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I'll see you guys next time.